Hello, I'm Xenolith. Let's play Endless Legend as the Roving Plants. Term processing is starting to take a while. Let's see where the city is. Okay. want to end the move inside of their territory because then they'll start moving troops towards me. to dust equipment. Those are the ones I want. Also now that I have this region with the silix I definitely want to research a plus neutral assimilation spot tech so I can start rolling in strategics. given industry, right? Yes, they do. So, queue up channel system. Oh. And let's give it two of those. When you give a city multiple stockpiles, it uses one each turn, so you can kind of queue up stockpiles, but you can't do silly things like give it 10,000 industry in a single turn. Seems like they might actually be at war. Because why else would six necro drones be there? Uh, maybe on vacation? Map exchange? Hmm. Cool. 
and Okay, let's do a map exchange. That's fairly helpful. <laughs> the necros are much larger than I thought. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten regions for the Walters. How many do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven right now. So that's not too bad. Let's see. Thirty seven. So they'll start getting closer to a science victory. I'll have to take out a few of their regions if I want to stop that. Might have to insult Dark Green because I can't turn units into privateers while not in one of my regions. So I get him to declare war on me. Or I just carve a path through the necros. It's an option as well. I want a hero for this new city. It's. Hmm. What would fit here? Hmm, I have both high tech resources. Maybe a broken lord to get some more output than those. Try to sell something. How much for? Wow. I can easily generate more stockpiles. So, plus three per turn, plus three per turn. One level. Oh, I see. What was the rest of my army doing? Yeah, these I'm going to send in next turn, and the settler isn't doing anything right now. Because Sending a settler into enemy territory doesn't seem like a bright idea. That's fine, yeah, I need to grow here. Growing. Sure. Alright. I guess as long as there are still buildings I need, it's fine if they're focused on industry.
Policy. Four industry stockpiles. Easy. Ah, uh, maybe not so easy. <laughs> let's have a look at their stats. Well, let's just order. Great. Uh, what just happened? Why was this a draw? What? I'm very confused. Mantian, nice. One of the Roman armies, where? Oh, down there. Whoa, forty the Mantian. Starting to be a nice amount of dust income. What do I sell? I guess more titanium? Because I really want those demons with tier 2 dust equipment. Was that the first one, or...? Yeah, it was. Okay, let's move people over. As long as it doesn't increase our construction time too much. those inside and save a bit of maintenance <laughs> even though it's less than a percent of my total income it's still useful Fighting me in 
terrain that's allied. I'm confused. Right, more adamantian. <sighs> My cat has a fascination with cowbirds. Okay, let's do this manually then. Since it was an external attack, they don't get a fortification bonus. They also move first, which is a bit annoying. let's have the haunted at the very front since they'll move so late ah oh, their stats are very high annoyingly so the good part is that they move first and I'm not affected by sweep strike back And let them approach, maybe? Just want to remove those notifications. Okay. One city that isn't producing anything. I have to remember that. Ah. Uh, what? They aren't attacking? I'll go after the hero first.
How is it regenerating? Oh, I see. Seems like dust one equipment isn't enough. Chain lightning isn't heavy, having a very large effect right now. Much less than the poison. So it's good that I've assimilated haunts. They have disease immunity. And I can research actual good equipment and use it to defend myself if they choose to declare war. What I should have done is, in fact, move my units off their territory and attack again next turn. Because giving their units experience isn't really helpful. Oh, it doesn't seem like I can check what kind of equipment they have. Maybe in the screen, but I... Oh yeah, I can. It's to one dust. I'll sell those. They've outlived their usefulness. And in that case, let's see how much do you want for this? Nope. <laughs> no chance that you'll give it to me. <laughs> How about this one? Don't seem to have researched any weapons.
goes. Let's try this and maybe give them resources. <laughs> Even if I give them all I, all I have, it's <laughs> not enough. Great. Let's move them a bit more. If I can. Huh. I think I've queued up all the strategics that I can. What's the next one? Oh, improved stockpiles, right. How close am I to eco victory? <laughs> Not that close. What I'll really need to get close to it are is this tech, essentially. So I'll want to make contact with empires that are not as close to science victory as the Vaulters and exchange tech with them. I'll also need some equipment. Let's go with these things. There's a good chance that they'll declare war. They have a unit right next to me. And they don't usually do that unless they 
intend to move into your territory. Yeah, I see. likely target is here. So I want to equip her with better equipment. As here is an interesting consistency. An interesting inconsistency I mean. Same stats, but this one is much more expensive. The boots on the other hand are much better. Helmet as well. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't even give her this. This one seems like a likely target as well. And of course, this. And a good weapon. Now they have flying, which I can't do much about. Maybe let's compare. 102 defense. Huh. It's actually not awful. That on tunnel. <laughs> they are following me. Also can't improve equipment in neutral territory. All right, let's encounter those two empires. Wild walkers. How do they compare to me? Dark green, okay, a bit 
more population, that's not too bad. And about the same amount of expansions, that's fine. Odd how I seem to be ahead in food and industry. I'd expect to be behind, honestly. Dust as well. Only in science are they ahead. Okay, in the influence, I don't really count. Let's see. How about peace? Well, will it give me technology for peace? <laughs> that would be hilarious. No? Huh, you'll give me this for peace. Cool. I want text. So I can get closer to era 5 and get the one building that I really, really need for my dust victory. But let's see what resources you have to offer. Um, I don't have that many resources, to be honest. I'll take your alloys. And as much of your titanium as I can get. Maybe start at 30. wonder if that counts towards the next era. I'm not actually sure. I'm not entirely sure how the weapons actually compare to dust your equipment. Fairly well. More damage, more initiative. That's clearly better. Also, I think there was a hero I didn't equip. Yeah, the quest thing on. Let's give her one of those. And to give her a quest bow. I mean a tight a resource bow. Yeah, more initiative. Same damage. A bit less attack, but it's the initiative that's important. Time to upgrade our unit designs. This is certainly interesting. Oh, that seems to be so much better. I don't get... Um, do 
Do I actually have the... This is immunity attack. No. That might be the arm attack I'm researching right now that gives the disease immunity trinket. Ten percent health is actually fine. A lot more health. Too bad there is no option for flying slayer. They are already so slow compared to the Necro Drones. But I might want to get this. The 10 extra damage, the huge amount of extra attack. Let's see how much retrofitting costs. Bit. Two hundred six health, eighty four, forty seven, sixty four, a hundred and something. A bit better. Enough damage that chain lightning should actually matter now. not be able to continue my faction quest. Mm. How much would that cost? Huh, interesting. And if I give them useless tax. So. If I really, really need to, I can af buy a truce. Next turn, I can move my main army hero back. That's fine. And beat up a few of their stacks, maybe, or be beat up myself, <laughs> is a real possibility. This is something I need to re no, this one. Unless you're willing to trade me for it. Do you have signal corpse? You don't seem to have it. I don't know, those just don't seem that useful. Caragodox, on the other hand. <laughs> I 
here I have all my early technologies no it's too expensive I need some influence Okay, time to build units. I'm going to need them. Here as well. can stall them out another turn here. to safety somewhere. Yeah, why not into that city? Do I have a trade route with them is a good question. Hmm, nothing going to the Wild Walkers. But good dust income from the vaulters. Okay, broken lords. Let's see how much tech they have. 32 compared to my 30. That's fine. Peace? Uh, that's not the one I wanted. Yay! Will you give me something for this? Nope. <laughs> nope. don't have that many techs, actually. Oh, but you do have Palladian. Something that I want a bit of. So I can build my plow thingies. Ah, oh, this is fine. Yeah, we can connect trade routes. We can connect trade routes as well. So maybe what I should do is ask you both for a vision exchange. Map exchange. And you as well, map exchange. Great. 
let's see. Yeah, should be getting some trade routes with a bit of a higher distance value. Should give me more trade route income. Also, seeing where the runes are is helpful. I'll assign her to this army. She's ranged, so it doesn't matter if she is not at full health. And give her some upgraded equipment, like this. Very necessary. Army health boost, maybe? Army initiative boost is... interesting. How much health does it give? Less than I thought. On her I definitely want the initiative. better, even though her base stats are garbage. I'll need era 5 or era 4 equipment to actually make use of the 4 range. And of course 5 range in 2 levels. Hey. Oh. Apparently you need to be in this screen. I'm going to buy another ranged hero to use on my ended over there for ex for exploring so I can gobble up some more ruin XP. And maybe I'll actually get um, the search bonus for ruins. Oh, I've made a mistake. Should have given this guy equipment while he wasn't assigned. Building geomic labs will give me one of the techs I'm researching. Great. I think I can build them just anywhere. Yeah, just buy it out. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Central Market, sure. Wasn't there an anomaly I wanted to build towards? Yeah, up there. And this episode has gone long enough. Probably my longest episode yet. Thanks for watching.